Well, as holiday destinations go, the Democratic Republic of Congo isn't top of that many tourist wish lists. And yet that could start to change as increased security is leading adventure seekers to change their minds and reconsider the natural beauty that the DRC has to offer. Our reporters head to Mount Nyarogongo, an active volcano that's increasingly open for business. It's selfie time at the foot of one of the world's most colossal volcanoes. In this group of visitors, the mood is cheerful. <laughs> and now the long trek is about to begin. Off they go. This trail leads to the crater's rim. To reach that point, 3,400 meters high, it's a steep six-hour climb. And these volcanic rocks are proving quite difficult on the ankles. One hour has just passed, and there's a slight shift in the general mood. <laughs> just six months ago, this area was off limits to tourists. This was the turf of aggressive militiamen. But these guerrilla fighters have been chased away. It's thanks to these men, the Congolese rangers who've been guarding the volcano ever since, that tourists can once again discover the natural beauties of DR Congo's iconic Virunga National Park. I heard some friends uh, say that the park was open again and they were planning a trip and they went before Christmas um, and it sounded amazing so I wanted to come as soon as I could. We can get here very easily um, so yeah lots of people from Kigali are coming up and taking the chance to do something nice in Congo. Although the Virunga National Park has reopened to visitors, this armed escort is proof that the area isn't entirely pacified. But let's talk about this over a well-deserved meal. Discuter un petit peu avec Faustin, un des rangers, tout à l'heure, et il expliquait effectivement qu'il faut protéger. Il y a notamment le souci du Makala. Donc il expliquait que des gens armés viennent viennent couper le bois pour brûler, pour pour faire un business avec le Makala. Donc c'est un vrai besoin, je crois, d'être protégé par des gens en armes, parce que parce qu'ils nous donnent la sécurité dont on a besoin pour pour faire quelque chose comme ça. Non, c'est bien, c'est rassurant. Illegal charcoal producers have now become the number one threat for Congolese rangers. Around the tourist trail, there's a five-kilometer perimeter, which is entirely secured. But the rangers remain on alert. They cannot completely rule out the risk of an attack. Donc le risque zéro n'existe pas? Non. Pour le moment, je ne peux pas vous rassurer, mais pour le moment, on sent, on sent quand même parce qu'il y a les touristes qui viennent, donc il y a la sécurité. Parce que depuis, euh, depuis la, le mois passé, on n'a pas encore enregistré un incident. Last few meters before reaching the top. It's a barren landscape and the air is very thin. But finally, the gigantic crater comes into sight, glowing in its center, a sea of lava. Non, c'est dingue, hein? C'est sincèrement, c'est absolument... Tu te rends compte le bruit que ça fait quoi The breathtaking view, being able to look deep inside this giant volcano, all this was well worth the effort. Just like these enthusiastic trekkers, over 1,000 tourists have climbed up the mighty slopes of Mount Nyaragongo since December. Congolese authorities are hoping many more tourists will soon be doing the same.